Have you ever wondered what happens when disorderly and misbehaving guests cause trouble on a cruise ship? Or how a serious crime committed on a ship is handled? If we tell you that they have jails on the cruise ship, are you curious to see them? Ahoy, fellow adventurers! Welcome to Ship Insights as we embark on a captivating exploration of an often overlooked aspect of cruise ship life, the cruise ship jail. Do the disorderly and misbehaving guests find themselves in hot water? Or perhaps you're curious about the most common crimes that occur on these floating paradises of luxury and leisure. Well, join us on this thrilling voyage as we uncover the secrets and shed light on the fascinating world of cruise ship jails. But wait, before we set sail on this intriguing journey, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on the exciting adventures that await. Cruise Ship Jail With a large number of people on board a cruise ship, it's essential to have a dedicated security team as cruise lines have to ensure the safety and well-being of both their crew members and valued guests. Safety is of paramount importance, and cruise lines leave no stone unturned when it comes to maintaining a secure environment on board. One key aspect of these security measures is the requirement for cruise vessels to promptly report any crime committed on board to the relevant authorities. This ensures that legal proceedings can be initiated and justice can be served, even at sea. To maintain a controlled environment, cruise lines have a strict list of prohibited items. Weapons, drugs, firearms, knives, ammunition, flammable substances, explosives, and even most drones are strictly prohibited on board. These measures aim to prevent potential threats and ensure the safety and peace of mind of all guests. The crew members on board undergo comprehensive training, equipping them with the necessary knowledge and skills to handle various situations. They are trained to report and respond to all crimes or disturbances, ensuring a swift and effective resolution. Ever wondered about the watchful eyes that keep a close eye on the ship? Cruise ships are equipped with state-of-the-art CCTV systems, serving as an additional layer of security. These cameras monitor key areas, providing constant surveillance and enhancing overall safety on board. While cruise lines may not openly advertise these policies, rest assured that every ship has a plan in place to handle unruly behavior or criminal incidents that may occur during a voyage. Picture this, a misbehaving guest who disrupts the tranquility of the ship, creating a potential security threat. What happens next? Larger cruise ships are equipped with designated facilities, such as padded cells or safe lockup rooms, where individuals deemed a security risk can be securely detained. These cells are accessible only to the ship's crew, ensuring the safety of both the detained individual and other guests on board. On the other hand, smaller ships employ alternative methods to control individuals until they can be removed from the vessel. Safety is paramount, and cruise ships strive to handle these situations swiftly and efficiently. Ever wondered about cabin arrest? Yes, it's a real thing. In some cases, offenders may be confined to their cabin under guard as a form of restricted movement until appropriate action can be taken. This approach aims to isolate the individual while maintaining a level of security for all guests on board. But what factors determine whether someone is detained on board or disembarked altogether? The ultimate decision rests with the captain of the cruise ship. Their responsibility is to uphold the well-being and safety of everyone on board, making tough choices when it comes to managing potential security threats. It's important to note that not all cruise ships have jails or brig facilities. The design of the jail cells is similar to modern jail cells, with a bed, shower, and toilet. Contrary to popular belief, these facilities are not reminiscent of ancient ship jails, but rather meet modern standards. Now, if you are curious about the crimes that take place on a cruise ship, let's proceed with it. But first, dear viewers, like and subscribe to our channel to keep the good content coming. Most common crimes on a cruise ship. Now let's explore some eye-opening facts that highlight the need for increased safety measures and awareness when it comes to cruise ship travel. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, the reported rate of crimes on cruise ships in 2019 was 0.18 incidents per every 100,000 passengers. Among the most common crimes committed were sexual assault, sexual battery, theft, and serious injury. In fact, in 2018 alone, there were 120 reported cases of sexual assault on board, accounting for a staggering 76% of all major crime reports. The U.S. Coast Guard's National Vessel Documentation Center reveals that between 2014 and 2017, cruise ship crime rates experienced a concerning 22% increase. Theft, in particular, accounted for 14% of all reported crimes on board in 2018, affecting an estimated 450,000 passengers worldwide in 2016. 
However, it's important to note that the chances of experiencing a major crime on a cruise ship from 2011 to 2015 were less than 1 in 100,000, indicating that cruise ships still maintain a relatively safe environment. Nevertheless, the reported cases of homicide, suspicious death, or missing persons from 2007 to 2021 reached a troubling number of 32, reminding us that danger can lurk even in paradise. When it comes to sexual assault crimes, a staggering 88% of incidents were committed by crew members, while 12% were committed by fellow passengers in 2014. These numbers underscore the importance of stringent screening and training processes for cruise ship employees, as well as the need for passengers to be vigilant and aware of their surroundings. In terms of cruise line comparison, Royal Caribbean faced the highest number of reported crime incidents in 2019, with 66 total incidents followed by Carnival Cruise Line with 57 incidents. This information can help travelers make informed decisions when choosing a cruise line for their next adventure. It's crucial to address the issue of underreporting, as it is estimated that approximately 80% of cruise ship crimes go unreported, as per a study by sociology professor Ross Klein. This lack of reporting further emphasizes the need for comprehensive statistics and transparency to fully understand the scope of the problem. While there are incidents of crimes on cruise ships, it is important to consider the statistics with the overall number of passengers and voyages taking place. The prevalence of reported crimes, such as sexual assault and theft, highlights the need for continued efforts to enhance security measures and protect passenger safety. Cruise lines have implemented various strategies to address these concerns. Remember friends, if you or anyone you know has any trouble while on a cruise ship, don't hesitate to reach the authorized crew members for help. They are there to help you out. What happens when you misbehave on a Carnival cruise ship? In a recent update to Carnival's ticket contract, the company is issuing a clear warning to all guests who can't seem to control their wild ways. Brace yourselves, party people, because if you cross the line, you might just find yourself facing a hefty $500 fine. If your rowdy antics reach a level that disrupts the comfort, enjoyment, safety, or well-being of your fellow cruisers or the hardworking crew, Carnival means business. And it doesn't end there, my friends. If you find yourself on the wrong side of Carnival's fun police, say goodbye to future sailings with this lively cruise line. That's right, you'll be banned from embarking on any Carnival adventures in the future. So think twice before letting your wild side run free on the high seas. Carnival wants nothing more than for all its guests to have a blast, but they're also determined to maintain a harmonious and enjoyable environment for everyone on board. Conclusion Cruise Lines prioritize the safety and well-being of their passengers, and the presence of a jail facility is part of their comprehensive security protocols. While it's not a common topic of discussion, knowing that these measures are in place provides peace of mind to passengers. So, the next time you embark on a cruise adventure, rest assured that cruise lines have security teams and protocols in place to maintain order and ensure a safe and enjoyable experience for everyone on board. If you found this video helpful and informative, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Thank you for watching Cruisers, and don't miss the boat.